We are here with senior Zach Sergi of Men's Cross Country. Zach, thanks for taking the time to join us today. Yeah, no problem. So you've been through this process for about three years now. Uh, how do you handle preseason training while also getting to know your new teammates? Uh, I mean, my, you know, me and my other teammates have been here for this long. Like our bodies have adapted to the training, and um, you just kind of, you just kind of get used to the mileage. So I can take that extra time to get to know my teammates and being the captain now. I really want to bring our bring our team together and hanging out or like after practice or goofing around in the ice bath, but then at the same time, you know, we get the work done and workouts. Yeah, so going on to a further note then, you know, how have you seen the team come together and how does that make workouts more enjoyable? Um, I've really seen not only the the newbies but also the returners. I've seen us just grow closer as a team this year. I don't know what's different about it from last year, but I feel like uh you know, there's there's the returners that I was really close with last year, but then I've also become closer to the other returners um, in, in the girls' and men's side. And then the newbies have adapted to the team fairly well this week, and, you know, it's only going to grow. We're only going to grow closer. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what are your thoughts on the men's team, you know, as the season's about to start? Uh, we're looking really good. We... You can definitely tell that the summer training paid off. Uh, all of us have a great base, and now it's just time to like add on to it through speed workouts. We got a big thousand meter workout tomorrow, so um, I'm really excited for the season. All right, and lastly, uh, what are some things you're uh, looking for? You know, as this is your senior season. Uh, pretty much just the ball out. Like that's it. That's my only focus. Is just go as hard as I can. And, you know, I'm going to follow those, those guys like, you know, Timmy Kohovic, Christian Ryder. Like, I'm going to look at those guys and look to get up to them. And, you know, along with the whole, whole team as well. All right. Thank you, Zach, and good luck this fall. Thank you. So we are here with head men's cross-country coach Matt Lee, who enters his 10th season at the helm of the program for the 2017 season. Coach, you lost a few seniors from the team, so most of your team is returning. You know, how has preseason training been going so far, and how have the upperclassmen worked together with the newcomers? Season training has been going really well so far. Um, they've been here for about a week now, um, and it's been fun to see them kind of click together and get that week training under themselves, week and a half training before we start school, and, and they don't get to be together as much. Um, but both the seniors, juniors, sophomores, freshmen are all gelling pretty well together. And uh, who are some men that we should watch out for this season? Um, I think there's quite a few, actually. I, th I think one of our main leaders, though, is Timmy Kahovec, uh, our senior. Um, I think he's going to have a phenomenal year this year, um, and we're pretty excited to see what the whole team can do, um, and definitely Timmy as a leader out there. Um, so when it comes to this incoming class, uh, who do you think can make an impact right away? It's hard to say. On the men's side, it's tough. The distance goes from 5K in high school to jumping up to 8K in college. Um, so sometimes it's a tough transition for the freshmen to make right away. So we don't put too much pressure on them um, right away in terms of wanting to get out there and really try to be out their best. Um, so we just kind of let them get into the sink of things, and, and hopefully they'll, they'll get used to it pretty quickly and help us compete at the highest level. All right, and the preseason polls have been released. Do you use that as motivation? Does it give the team a chip on their shoulder, or do you try not to focus on that at all? We don't really focus on rankings too much in cross country as much, uh, especially, like I said, on the men's side. It's tough with the incoming freshmen having to move up in distance. Um, we just try to compete and stay healthy as much as we can, and if we can do that, we feel like at the end of the season we'll be where we want to be um, individually and as a team um, and at the highest level. So when it comes to schedule, how do you choose what events to run? I'm sure you're looking at meets that will challenge the team. We do. We choose a lot of the same meets uh, that we've had in the past. Um, we try to get to meets that are pretty fast, uh, courses that are uh, um, not necessarily hilly. Um, and we also try to get meets that are every other weekend as well. So Coach Brett, my assistant coach, does a great job at, in terms of planning out the schedule throughout the fall and uh, season for cross country. Lastly, what are you expecting from the men's team this year? Um, we're excited. I think that they have a they have a good team. I think uh, all around, um, from the leadership from the top all the way down to the freshmen, I think we're gonna we're gonna have a good impact out there on the course. All right. Thanks for joining us, Coach, and good luck this season. Thank you.